That's the latest from the court. We want to just cross over there. We understand that he's about to address the press. That's going to be happening any moment now. Um, let's see if that's on right now. Ikuru Okot, there you go. Let's just listen to what he has to say. It goes just beyond my candidature, actually. It's about the protection of the Constitution and actually the, the protection of, I think, the will of the people. So we thank the, the judge for uh, pronouncing himself with finality on this matter. Uh, as you may recall, one of our pillars uh, of Third Way Alliance is to protect and implement the Constitution, uh, the evolution and the rule of law. Uh, so we stood firm with that, uh, regardless of uh, whatever the circumstances are. And today, I think we've reaped the benefit of our belief in the Constitution because we honestly believe that Chebukati had uh, completely violated uh, the Constitution by discriminating on my candidature um, and by misinterpreting it uh, to mean a runoff. So today the court has actually confirmed that he was very wrong. Uh, and uh, going forward, uh, we will therefore now hope to engage Chebukati um, on, the, on the next 15 days on, on our inclusion. And as you can see, they have tried to, um, to stop um, my enjoyment of my right, but the court has also refused on their second attempt. Uh, the second thing I want to say is, uh, is really to thank my lawyer, Elias Mutuma, who I will give the opportunity to, uh, to speak uh, uh, to you. Um, this is about people who believe in a cause. And as, as Third Way Alliance, we've stayed firm on what we, we, we believe in. Uh, you know, they underestimated our smallness, uh, quote unquote. Uh, you know, and we told them, if you do, try sleeping in a dark room with a mosquito. Uh, and that's precisely what we have proved to them that we may be small, uh, the way they see us politically. But if we have the law and justice on our side, uh, that will reign. Um, we will now retreat as a party, as you already know that we've been completely prejudiced because we've been left out of all the negotiations that have been ongoing. Uh, you notice that we've not even been campaigning because we wanted to know what our fate is. So we'll now retreat as a political party together with our National Executive Committee and uh, make a, a, a decision. As you know, even before the 8th August election, we had serious concerns as to whether IEBC was able to uh, organize uh, the election effectively. Now I think we've been proven right from two instances, both from the Supreme Court and now the, the High Court. Uh, we still believe that there are issues that must be addressed at IEBC, including uh, those individuals, the bad elements at IEBC, who may have bungled uh, the 8th August election. So we still strongly believe that we have a set of concerns that we will be raising with the IEBC. They are already out there in the open. And um, yeah, so we'll be pursuing those and we'll make a more comprehensive statement maybe in a day or two uh, as to the position of our, of our party. But right now, uh, we want to relish this moment, enjoy the opportunity being given, and definitely confirm to Kenyans that we shall be uh, in that ballot as it's been ordered by the, by the I-Code. And I want to give the chance to um, my running mate,